Hey Joe, so this is my football for trade video. I got a few cards here I wanted to show you. Uh, I think you possibly would be interested in um, in response to the football for trade video you had posted last night. So I will start it off with this guy from 2012 Limited. This is actually the Silver Spotlight number to 49 on card autograph. Really sharp looking card. Uh, I'll show you the back out of 49. This will be the, the hardest card to get off me, but I would not mind uh, doing it in a deal for the Aaron Rodgers. But I will show you that one. Next, I have another Andrew Luck here. This is the uh, base prestige out of 299. Still really sharp looking card. I'll show you the number on the back. 299 on the prestige Luck. I also have the short print draft day variation of Robert Griffin. I believe these were short printed to 25. They are not serial numbered, but they were short printed. So I'm going to say 25 on those, but uh, another rare one of Griffin if you're interested in that. Um, next, I have these four, which if I trade, I would want to do in a lot. So I really consider them um, all together. I probably put the value on this of $500. But this is the 2012 Elite Series Case Hits. All out of 99. All the black border. I have the Andrew Luck. Very sharp. All these cards are extremely clean. Um, again, the Russell Wilson. All of them out of 99. I have the Griffin. I wish they made the Nick Foles in this. They did not, but I have the Ryan Tannehill as well. All of those, the Elite Series case hits, all numbered out of 99. Again, I would do those all in a lot. I'd put the value of those at $500, so if that's something you would be interested in as well, uh, please let me know. Here's another one, the only graded card I have here. Um, the Contenders, this is the short print, the 200 variation of Ryan Tannehill, BGS95, if you can see some of the, uh, the subs at the top there. Centering 10, edges 9.5, corners 9, surface 9.5. So that is the SP Contenders Variation Ryan Tannehill rookie. Uh, going on a couple of veterans here. I'm sure you're pretty familiar with this guy. From 2010 National Treasures, this is the Colossal Jumbo Jersey of Drew Brees. And that is numbered on the back. 2 of 5. I love this card. I love Drew Brees as well. Uh... One of my favorite quarterbacks. I probably value this anywhere between 150 and 175. Uh, I wouldn't go any lower than that on that breeze. And then I also have this one from 2010 Five Star. This is the gold foil uh, parallel at a 35. Another really nice on card auto, big signature there. I'd put the value on that one at about 100. So two Drew Brees cards if you're interested in those. I also have from this year's Topps Chrome, the 4,000 yard passing club. Extremely rare, extremely hard to come by. Hold on, Dad. Or the 4,000 yard club. This was the Peyton Manning at a 25, the red refractor. And that is a beauty. I paid 225 for this when I got it. Um, that's what I would value it at. I mean, if the Broncos end up in the AFC Championship again or the Super Bowl, I'd put that more closer to the $300 range. But I'd be at 225 on that one. Beautiful, sharp card. Manning in his Broncos uniform. I've got a couple other cards from that set, too, again, that are just rare to come by. These are less than one per case. I don't really know the odds. But I have the Matthew Stafford at a 25. Again, another really sharp card. I also pulled this one. Um... Tops Chrome, Red Refractor Auto, Arian Foster at a 25. So I got a couple of those. And then just the last one I'll show if you're interested in a uh, 2006 Donruss Elite, Reggie Bush. Uh, I believe this was the turn of the century autograph, the base auto out of 100. That's him in his USC uniform with the Saints logo up at the top. So let me know if you would be interested in any of those. Uh, just send me a PM and we can go from there. Hope to hear from you soon.